continuation of the extra questions fourth question if the p th term of an ap is q and the q th term is p prove that nth term is p plus q minus n p th term means a plus p minus 1 into d is equal to q this is the first equation and the q th term is what a plus q minus 1 into d is equal to p second equation we have to prove that nth term is p plus q minus n for this we have to identify a and b that means the first term and the common difference for that you have to subtract 2 minus 1 2 minus 1 will give q minus 1 into d minus p minus 1 into d is equal to p minus q d and d will be cancelled so q minus p into d is equal to p minus q this means that d is equal to p minus q divided by q minus p which is equal to minus 1 so the common difference d is equal to minus 1 then using any one of this equation we can find the value of a so a is equal to q minus p minus 1 into d so which is equal to q minus p minus 1 into minus 1 so we are getting this as q minus p we have to multiply with the negative sign so the sign will be changed what we can write as q plus p minus 1 which is equal to p plus q minus 1 so we got d as p plus q minus 1 what we have to find nth term so a n is equal to a plus n minus 1 into d we know the value of a what is sorry a a is what p plus q minus 1 plus n minus 1 into minus 1 so we can write like this p plus q minus 1 n into minus 1 is minus n minus 1 into minus 1 is plus 1 so we can cancel these two the remaining terms are p plus q minus n so the final answer is a n the nth term is p plus q minus n next question fifth question if m times the nth term of an ap is equal to n times the nth term m times the a m that means mth term is equal to n times an what do you have to find show that the m plus nth term is zero we have to prove that m plus nth term is zero so instead of am what we can write a plus n m minus 1 into d is equal to n into a plus n minus 1 into d so we can take all the terms to the left side so what we are getting us m minus n into a then plus m into m minus 1 into d minus n into n minus 1 into d so what we are getting us we have to expand this equal to 0 so m minus n into a plus m square minus n square into d we are combining these two terms then minus m minus n into d equal to 0 so what we can do is we can write m minus n into a plus how can you split m square minus n square 
What is m square minus n square? m plus n into m minus n. m plus n into m minus n into d minus m minus n into d equal to 0. So, the common term is a minus n which we can divide throughout. So, what we are getting is a plus a minus n into d minus d equal to 0. So, what we are getting is a plus a minus n minus 1. Is it m minus n or m plus n? Remaining m plus n here. So, we have divided throughout by m plus m minus n. So, m plus n will remain m plus n minus 1 into d equal to 0. This is of the form a plus n minus 1 into d instead of n it is m plus n. So, what is this? A m plus n equal to 0. This implies that a m plus n equal to 0. This is what we have to prove. That means the m plus nth term is 0. Then the sixth question. The p, q and r the terms of an AP are a, b, c respectively. Then show that a into q minus r plus b into r minus p plus c into p minus q equal to 0. So, what is given is a is the pth term. So, here I am using the capital letters because already small letters are there, small a. So, I am writing a plus p minus 1 into d. And second one b is the qth term. b is the qth term means a plus q minus 1 into d. And what about c? c is equal to the rth term which is equal to a plus r minus 1 into d. What you have to prove? You have to prove this relation is equal to 0. That means we have to take the LHS. What is the LHS? a into q minus r. Instead of a what we can write? a plus p minus 1 into d. So, a plus p minus 1 into d into q minus r into q minus r plus instead of b what you can write a plus q minus 1 into d a plus q minus 1 into d and r minus p plus last one c c is a plus r minus 1 into d bracket p minus q. Then what we can do was the first one. First one we can write as a into q minus r. a plus a into r minus p plus a into q mi p minus q. So I am right taking a out and we can write as q minus r plus r minus p plus p minus q. What about the second term? We can take d out plus d into the product of these two p minus 1 into q minus or uh, q minus r or we can write uh, minus 1 into uh, minus r is r. So, p minus 1 into d so, we can write it as p into q minus r, first term, p into q minus r, first term we are taking. Then q into r minus p plus q into r minus p plus r into p minus q. Then the last term is, what is the last term? Minus q minus r minus q minus r minus r minus p minus p minus q. When you simplify this you will get as 0. When you simplify this also you will get as 0. So, the final answer is 0. What we have done is a into q minus r plus b into r minus p plus c into p minus q. 
So, what we have written is a plus p minus 1 into d into q minus r, a plus q minus 1 into d into r minus p plus a plus r minus 1 into d plus into q p minus q. Then we have simplified and we got the result as 0. Then the seventh question, if a, b, c, find a, b, c, if it is given that the numbers a, 7, b, 23, c are in a, p, what is given? The a, p is given as a, 7, b, 23, c. The first term is given as a. Let us suppose that the common difference is d. If the common difference is d, what about 7? 7 is equal to a plus d. What about b? a plus 2d, third term. What about 23? a plus 3d. And what about c? a plus 4d. So, what we can find here is, we can write from the first one, we can write d is equal to a minus 7. If d is, this I am taking as equation 1, 2, 3 and 4. Equation 1, 2, 3 and 4. First I have taken d as 7 minus 8 is not a minus 7. It is 7 minus a. d is equal to 7 minus a. So, from the third equation, using equation 3, we can write 23 is equal to a plus 3 into what about d? 7 minus a. So, 23 is equal to a plus 21 minus 3a. So, it is equal to minus 2a plus 21. So, from here what we got us a is equal to negative 1. So, if a is equal to negative 1, you can find, you can write d as 7 minus a. So, that means 8. So, d is equal to 7 minus minus 1 which is equal to 8. So, using a and d, you can find the values of a, b and c which you have to complete as homework.